Drop a like on the video in the next five seconds if you want the season three battle pass for free. So I just finished a massive gifting spree in Fortnite, gifting my subscribers skins from the item shop. Wait, wait, let me be more specific. Five lucky subscribers every single day. That lucky person could be you. So make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below. From there, drop a like, turn notifications on, and leave your Epic Games name in the comment section down below. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're all having a great day. So far today, we've got a ton of new information to get through in today's video we are talking about the map and what it will look like in season three with a supposed map introduction trailer at the end of today's video that apparently got leaked from an epic games employee i promise after you watch today's video you're going to learn a ton more about season three and what's going on you're definitely going to want to listen to this now we're going to kick off today's video by looking at some season three teasers if you guys haven't seen these posters already well a lot of people have been talking about them, but, but there is actually a lot more to them than what first meets the eye. Now, they actually have the code name S13, obviously meaning season 13, and this is the 13th season in Fortnite. Now, the first poster we're going to take a look at, you can see Meow School standing in the water with some armbands on. Not really much to it on this one. The next poster is of a house on a pool floaty. And the last poster, if you guys haven't seen it, is of Peely swimming and it looks like he's about to be eaten by a shark. Now, a lot of people have been talking about these posters, but we're going to take a look at them individually and what each one means. But there's actually a lot more to these posters than what people have been telling you. Now, these posters can actually be found around the No Sweat Insurance location on the map in Lazy Lake. Um, currently, the posters are there, but there's only like little snippets of them. Obviously, they're going to progress as we get closer to Season 3, but we've obviously got the leaked full images of these posters. I'm going to be breaking them down exactly what they mean. Obviously, they're hinting at... Uh, an aquatic or underwater theme for season three of chapter two. Now, the first poster is of a house floating. Now, there are multiple places around the map that are protected by no sweat insurance. You can see these places around the map. They've got signboards put up. There's Frenzy Farm. There's Holly Hedges. Um, sweaty Sands. There's Pleasant Park. They're all over the map. Now, they're actually insured by no sweat insurance. Now, this is actually quite significant because it looks like when the flood hits this map in season three, these places that are protected by no sweat insurance are obviously insured and it looks like these places are going to be the places that are going to survive the flood. They're going to be saved by no sweat insurance and put up on big pool floaties by the looks of it by this image. So all the places that are protected by no sweat insurance look like they're going to be saved for next season. Now the other poster here with Peely swimming on top of the water and the shark underneath. If you guys didn't know, a lot of people have spoken about this one. Obviously we're getting a new way of mobility for season 3 and that is a shark. Yeah. Kind of crazy, but it looks like it's going to be a new way of traversing around the map. We've got boats, we've got helicopters, we're throwing in sharks into the mix. It's going to be pretty interesting. So that's a quick little deeper look at the posters that a lot of people haven't actually covered. And like I said, we've got a leaked supposed doomsday flooded map trailer at the end of today's video. But there's something else that I want to cover to do with this flood event that's been in front of our eyes in Fortnite literally the whole time. Now this teaser that I'm going to be showing you has been in front of our eyes the whole time and it's to do with the flood in Fortnite. Now if you head northwest of Holly Hedges, you guys have probably seen this before, but if you come here you can see at first glance it looks like there's nothing special. From a bird's eye view you can see the name Noah shaped out in the ground with the ground, the hedges, the fence and the house making up the name Noah. Now Noah is one of the most well-known stories in the Bible, where pretty much Noah built an ark, saved all the animals from a massive flood. So this teaser has been right in front of our eyes since the beginning of chapter 2. We thought the flood was happening last season, but it turns out the water theme is going to be for season 3. And this teaser was in front of our eyes the whole time. Now a lot of people are suggesting either the map's going to be hit by a tsunami, or something is going to go wrong with the Doomsday device. Now a lot of leakers are hinting at the fact that the Doomsday device might actually be controlling the weather on the map. Now for season 3 we're obviously expecting environmental changes all over the map. Things such as like when a house actually catches fire when you throw an explosive at it, it will draw the people out of the house stuff like that now a user over on reddit with the name william bash created this awesome cool concept for like map weather changes which will be controlled by the doomsday device in season three i personally think it will look awesome you can see there's like a snowfall there's like precipitation there's a thunder one there's blistering heat 
maybe the doomsday device affects the way the map looks each game i know it's a long shot but it looks like it could be a possibility, like like a change in environment that's always evolving around you. The map is obviously going to be flooded. Is it going to be down to a tsunami? Is it going to be down to the dam breaking? Or is it down just to the doomsday device causing a lot of rain? Now, before we take a look at this doomsday Fortnite event in trailer, I just want to... You're probably not going to like to hear this, but the old Fortnite map, it isn't coming back anytime soon. Now, Epic have said, they've already said they're pretty much sticking with this map that we've currently got. The numbers on Fortnite right now are like the highest they've ever been. And for Epic Games, holding back the old Fortnite map is pretty much like a weapon. Fortnite is currently like peaking, like I said, and there's no need to drop the old map. So for season three, it's just gonna be a development of the map we've got so far in chapter two. Do I think the old map will come back eventually? Probably yeah, when Fortnite's momentum kind of slows down, like by quite a lot, they'll just whip out the old Fortnite map and everybody will come flooding back to try and get that nostalgic feel for Fortnite. Epic Games, they're not like silly or anything, they'll just bring back the old Fortnite map realistically when Fortnite numbers drop or the interest for the game just isn't there anymore. So more development will be happening on the current Fortnite map that we've got so far. So yeah, the next couple of seasons coming up in Fortnite are going to be pretty interesting and it's going to build up quite a lot of momentum. Obviously with the new season, season 3, we'll see an absolute ton of map changes. Like I said, a lot of them being underwater. The places that are protected by no sweat insurance are going to stay on the map. As much as I'd love it back, let's just hope we just don't get the old Season X map back because that was just rubbish. So we know Season 3, the map is going to be flooded. We don't know what by yet. Could be the Doomsday Device, um, the dam breaking, or it could be a tsunami. Either way, it's going to get flooded. But there's a ton of people out there that have come up with some cool ideas, like creative ideas for map changes in Fortnite to do with the flood. Now, this first one I'm going to show you up on screen here, I think is awesome. As of right now, the map is pretty much like one or two biomes in particular. We've got Slurpy Swamp, the rest of it's like grass. The high peaks in the map are covered with snow, which is pretty cool. But we haven't got like a desert part of the map. Something that got introduced into Chapter 1 map on Season 5. When Season 5 came around, we obviously saw like the desert biome added to the map. So here is a cool concept up on screen here of what it would supposedly look like if a desert area was added to the Fortnite map, a new sort of biome, and how it would kind of change up the style of the game. Obviously, half of this map is most likely going to be underwater. I don't think this concept's taken that into consideration, but I think having like a desert area to the map, I think would be pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now, round off today's video, we've got a supposed leaked trailer to do with the Doomsday Flood event. I'm going to show it to you guys. You're going to let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Um, I've seen it already. I don't think it's obviously real, but you can be the judge of that yourself. With all that rubbish, yeah, here it is. Let me roll it. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that trailer, I don't know. Personally, I think it's just fan made, but you can let me know what you think down below. Flooded maps of Fortnite coming here very, very soon for season 3 in just about a month's time now. So yeah, a lot of stuff is going to be happening to this map. The old map isn't coming back, unfortunately, as much as everybody wants it back. I don't think it's needed. Fortnite's currently peaking in views and stuff, which um, for Epic Games, they're just going to hold back the old map as like a weapon they can use against us pretty much, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys went on and enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop me a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. It's been your boy, Matt Max. Have a good day, and I'll catch you guys later, and peace out.